Hello everyone, welcome to the AI Render Open Beta. In this video, we'll show you how to use the image-to-image -image workflow to convert low-poly models into high-detailed realistic renders, and show how to use the iClone to set up character poses and facial expressions. I start by using Smart Search to find a character. iClone offers a wide range of crowd series characters, designed with low polygon count for better performance. Using Smart Search, I selected the character category and quickly found a character suitable for an office scene. Then I head to the content store and choose a Lightroom asset to quickly set up lighting and the general atmosphere. Once ready, I open AI Render. There are many styles to choose from. For this demo, I go with Realistic Style to refine the low poly character with more detail. Stable Diffusion 1.5 performs best at a 1 to 1 aspect ratio, so I recommend using a square canvas for optimal output. Most of the parameters below are already optimized, so beginners can safely stick with the defaults. Next, make sure the depth option in Control Net is enabled. It generates a grayscale map based on the character's position relative to the camera. I first try mid-shot, but the grayscale looks vague. Then I switch to portrait mode, and the depth becomes much clearer. This helps the AI better interpret the shape of the character. Finally, I press Preview. And you can see how much more refined and natural the character becomes after rendering. By default, the seed is random, so every render gives a slightly different result. Once you find a look you like, you can set the seed to fixed, which keeps your output consistent. I rotate the character and render again to check if the style stays consistent from different angles. I open AccuPose and select a base pose suitable for a business character. Then I switch to the control panel to fine tune it. AccuPose keeps the pose balanced automatically. Back in AI Render, I render again, and now the updated pose shows clearly in the result. Now let's work on the expression. I rotate the face toward the camera and choose a fitting smile. I use Modify Greater Than Edit Motion Layer to turn the head, and then pick a smile from the Face key, Greater Than Expression tab. Since this is a close-up, I need to pay extra attention to the depth quality. I open the adjustment panel below, tweak the settings manually, and press update. The depth map is now much clearer. To help the AI preserve character features, I use Capture Viewport to convert the image into text. Then add keywords like Western Face and Elderly. Finally, I press Preview again. And now the output includes pose, expression, and key details. If the image looks good, I export it and optionally upscale it for better quality. And that's our full AI render image to image tutorial. Thanks for watching.